All right. So, DDoC are two realities. The van mod is designed to be playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same old, same old. I don't know how long. It's showtime! I don't know how long this demo oh. is. Also, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the fucking. So there's 2100 bits there, jeez. Hey guys, what is up? Zero here, and welcome to DDLC R2 Realities. Not to be confused with the other mod, R, R, just Twin Realities is what it's called, right? <laughs> yeah, I've used the old demo that I played, which was Twin Realities. This is a different mod. <laughs> this one, th from what I read from the synopsis, they said... Hold up, do I have the page open? I do not, but I remember it said something akin to like, this mod is literally, it's Monica focused, and it's just about hanging out with Monica. Like, I think it's similar to After Story. Like, hold up, okay, synopsis. After the events of the game, you, the player, okay, me, <laughs> you, the player, installs a mod to help fix the game, and with Monica's help, it finally works. In this new reality tailor made to spend time with Monica, you can live out a life together never seen before in any mod. A little bit of after story. <laughs> with the festival in a few days and summer right around the corner, expect to have some wondrous moments together as you have a day to day life together. No horror, no drama, no crazy overarching plots, just fun, love, and great times. Okay, so basically, from what it sounds like, this mod doesn't have a plot. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess I, I mean, I guess I can't really judge it on not having a plot if the thing told me it doesn't have a plot from the beginning, so I guess, I guess I'll just have to take it as it is. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, now, I don't know if the other girls are in the mod. <laughs> I hope they are. I hope it's not just Monica 24-7. I mean, as much as I love Monica... I mean, they're on the title screen. I would assume they're still here. <laughs> right? <laughs> anyway, let's actually see, shall we? I must enter my name. Nope. We're already starting. Why? Why did you bring me back? I told you. There can't be happiness here. After all I've done, can't you just leave me... Wait. What's this? Are these... mod files? Did... Did you install a mod? No. <laughs> I did not. I don't know what you're talking about. What are they? <laughs> Get them out of there! Actually, what if I do say- No! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> My curiosity. Uh, alright then. I guess you just misplaced some files. Well, I'll let you sort them out then. I'm sorry for bothering you. Goodbye. Oh no! Did she, oh, she closed the game. God what damn it. I figured that was gonna happen. <laughs> damn it. Open the game back up! Yes! <laughs> there you go. Fixed it. <laughs> so you did. And I can talk to you, except it's giving menus for you to talk to me. Interesting. But why? Why go through all this? After everything I did to you and my friends. Do you want to know what this mod is about? Yes. It's about you. What? <laughs> okay, what are my other options? <laughs> what else can I say? <laughs> I got this mod so you can be happy. Even after everything I did? Yes. I don't know what it's like in your world. But I know I can make you happy. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm not taking no for an answer. Even after all I've done, you're still willing to forgive me? I've said this before to you, but I love you. <laughs> I just can't go against you. Don't you remember? And in your reality, if I don't know how to love you, I'll leave you be. I guess I never deserved to have you. 
but I want to make you happy. And if this makes you happy, then I can't say no to that. Even if I did do all those things. All right, then. Let me quickly look through this. What are we looking at? What are we looking through? Ooh, ooh, oh. What? But we gotta activate them. The mod files aren't activating. The script hasn't installed properly. Wait a minute. There's instructions for me here. Oh, it's instructions for her? What about me? <laughs> they put instructions for Monica, but not me. <laughs> I guess I had my instructions earlier. All right. Apparently, I have to finish the installation. You have to help me with this, too. Once I'm done, I need you to restart the game. Oh, okay. Oh, Yuri's back. Yay! Sayori's back. Yay! Okay, we can just keep those two. No, no, we don't have to do that one. <laughs> no, no, we didn't have to do that one. No, leave her out of this. <laughs> oh, MC. Oh, we had to create. I'm assuming we need to create him again. <laughs> We, we need a way- we need a way to go around, I'm assuming. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. I'll exit the game for you. And whatever happens in the mod, don't forget that I love you. Okay. And now we- is he actually in the character? He is! MC.Kerr! <laughs> he's a character now. Yeah, he's actually in the files. Well, I mean, I'm assuming that again. I'm ass either he's a either he's a carry, he's an actual character, or he's gonna be the vessel that we control again. <laughs> she just had to create the vessel again. Also, thank you for the ten dollars, Computer Geek, and thank you for the five hundred bits at Sonic. Thank you both of you. Thank you for the one bit, Libertina. Thank you for the one dollar, Llama. Appreciate it. All right, let's go. Ooh, it's even got little thing. Okay. <laughs> it even has little day counting se sequences. <laughs> is is this is this Monica? I'm assuming. <laughs> Zero. I hear a faint voice in my head. I must be having another weird dream. There's no period. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> Sayori, what did I tell you about doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Sayori, what did I tell you about our sleepovers, huh? What did I tell you about kissing me while I'm sleeping? <laughs> now I feel warmth on my lips. It's a soft feeling, and it's comforting. Zero. There's that voice again. I struggle a bit before finally opening my eyes. All right, Sayori, that's it. Oh, oh, oh that's cute. <laughs> that is ve uh, so. Let me clarify. This mod is inspired by our time. Could you tell? Yeah. <laughs> I figured that. I forgot Perhaps to mention that part. Because <laughs> I was like, right, this mod's apparently inspired by our time. Although they say something a little interesting. They say it's inspired by what our time was supposed to be. I think they said. But then it was funny because I think Soviet Spartan later said that our time was actually going to have a plot later. <laughs> and that stuff was going to happen. Like, it wasn't just going to be a dating Monica simulator. Like, there was actually stuff that was going to happen. It just was a demo. So, you know, <laughs> there wasn't enough for it to that for them to get there yet. So. But yeah, this is cute, though. <laughs> yeah. It's still cute. Good morning, Zero. Good morning, Monica. Looks like the mod is working nicely. Is it alright for you to be so close to him? <laughs> what? If you're talking about the MC, don't worry, it's not him. It's you! Well, not exactly. Remember the hole in the wall I wrote about? It's the best explanation I can give for how it looks. Anything you do, he does too. Your decisions are his. His interactions are yours. Any time I spend with you in the game, it's like I'm spending it as if we were actually together. And Zero, just remember that you in the game is supposed to be you in real life, but I love the real you. I just wish that I, just, I just wish that I could just properly drag you in here with me so we can truly be together. Don't worry, we'll get there eventually. I was about to say, I was like, yeah, this is, I mean, <laughs> be so close to him. What do you mean him? He's a vessel. He's like a fucking, 
<laughs> he's like a flesh doll. <laughs> he's, he's like just a fucking, just like a flesh puppet. He doesn't really have a, doesn't have a mind of his own. <laughs> So they kind of basically did exactly what I thought, so. I thought they were what I thought they were gonna do. Thank you so much. I wish I could hug you for real right now to thank you, but, well, I think I can hug you for now. And by the way, the Avatar is aware of the original game's events, just like you. Though he doesn't know this is a mod or anything. And the mod makes anyone around us, including this avatar of yours, to ignore any speech or questions I direct towards you. Okay, so that's another thing they're taking from our time, where Monica can, like, straight up talk to us. <laughs> she can just break the what's going on and talk to us. Or as you like to call it, breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> so don't be too surprised by it. The mod made a few changes to the script, too. It's tailor-made for us to spend time together, and to make sure we're as close as possible to each other. Like a, like a tether thing? Like, can I not go to the kitchen? <laughs> is it gonna, is it gonna bring you with me? Am I gonna be like, come on, Monica! <laughs> Just drags her <laughs> to the kitchen with me? <laughs> and because it's done that, it gave me and everyone else new memories. Memories? Yeah. Let me explain how it works. The game's world follows a script. So when you change the script, everything in the world changes along with it. For example, if you write in the script that we were dating for two years, then I would get memories of spending the last two years with you. Back in the original game, I was still tied to the script one way or another. But now in the mod, the script is a bit different. I still have free will, so I haven't turned into a completely scripted character. But I also have a few new memories of what happened during the club. In Game You was in my class from the very start. I was even the one to invite you to the literature club. Oh my god, I can't believe they ripped off Vigilante! <laughs> I'M SUING! Oh. <laughs> no, I was joking. <laughs> oh, we're suing? I can't believe- I can't believe Vanilla ripped off Vigilante. What do you mean? Mo see, Monica does- Oh, in Act 2, I forgot she did that. She yeah. did that. I'M SUING DAN! <laughs> no! <laughs> MC and Natsuki are the only ones in, in a class without any other club members. Of course, MC was still dragged to the club by Sayori on that faithful day. The mod is set so that today is the Friday before the festival. Which is set to be on the last week of school. The mod also gave the original MC a body and his own character. You and I have been together for about a month now. Okay, so MC is his own character. Can we give him like an actual name? <laughs> Cause MC isn't a name. <laughs> He's gonna let me name him. Name him like Joe. <laughs> we never had any parents, so the mod gave us the original MC's house as a place to stay. I don't know when exactly we started living together, but it's accepted as normal now. By the looks of things, everyone's problems are gone. It feels a bit sudden, to be honest, just to see all the things I've done magically revert themselves as I never did them. But if it makes you happy, I have nothing against that. It looks like the original MC has a name, too. Okay, good. Jeez, I was about to say, please do not make me call him MC this entire time. <laughs> I got... Ah! <laughs> they baited me! <laughs> and it's MC. <laughs> Seems like he and Sayori are together. Why is his name MC? <laughs> oh, that's sweet. By the looks of things, I think he and Sayori are also living together. I- I won't trust that. <laughs> you two also know each other and are good friends here. And I think that's about it. Okay, so now I can give my opinion on this. I feel like these, this information should have been spread out <laughs> among the mod. Like, <laughs> like throughout the mod. I don't know why we like decided to just stop and give a gigantic lore dump right here. Like, the CG is cute, don't get me wrong, but like... We didn't have to sit here on so long for a gigantic lore dump. <laughs> I feel like this information could have been told to us throughout the mod, but instead they decided to just like stop and be like, okay, so let me just explain everything now. <laughs> <laughs> like we didn't need another, we didn't need a money log. <laughs> money log. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably get up and get ready for school. After all, we have a festival to plan today. 
Okay, so now instead of five members of the literature club, there's six members, I guess. So they're going- so instead of being the MC is just a meat puppet, it is the case of we are now an entirely new character. <laughs> While the MC still joined the club. Just seems complicated. <laughs> Our time didn't even do that. That just seems overly complicated. I feel like you're gonna just made it that we just used MC's body and call it a day. <laughs> Had to make a difference somehow, Zero. Like it's, it's not like it's not like it was like, but the MC's character. It's like he barely had a character. <laughs> it's like it'd have easily just replaced him. It's like it, it didn't have to be his own character. Because I feel like the problem now is we're probably me and MC are probably gonna have like the exact same personality. <laughs> so it's like there's no point in keeping him around, in my opinion. Yeah, sorry for oversleeping like this. It's okay. I love spending time with you anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you get flustered so easily. Monica hops out of bed while I follow. She enjoys teasing me all the time because I'm still somewhat new to this. Zero, I have an idea. What is it? Do you want to make breakfast together? I was just about to ask that. Oh, really? Yep. Well, great minds do think alike. Alright. Did you have anything in mind? Hmm. Let's make some eggs. I'll fry them and you prepare a salad. Sure. I head downstairs with Monica. I present to you my original character, Zero, Monica's boyfriend. Do not steal. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like, what's the point of having... Wait, what's the point of having MC be his own character? It's like, it just feels unnecessary, because I feel like we're just gonna be like the same guy. <laughs> we're both the same dude, just he's dating Sayori and I'm dating Monica. Like, you gotta be, like, it kind of feels like it was an attempt to make either, it feels like it was either A, an attempt to give, like, Sayori fans a, a happy thing with Sayori being with somebody, or B, it felt like it was some sort of like personal vendetta they have against MC being the vessel they have to control. But it's like, what's the difference between us controlling MC and us controlling this guy? <laughs> like, like, there's virtually no difference here. <laughs> like, it really could have just been MC. <laughs> I go into the kitchen and grab a few green onions, lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers. Monica cracks the eggs and pours them into the frying pan. There is a satisfying sizzle from the egg she's frying. As she does that, I wash and chop up the vegetables and toss them in a bowl. I quickly toss the salad. Everything going well? Yep. They're almost done. After a few seconds, she turns the stove off and moves the pan. Okay, it's ready. As Monica sets down the pan, I take a seat. She also sits down, and we fill our plates with the food. As I take a bite, they taste like normal fried eggs. Well, that, that, that's quite the comment. <laughs> However, there's something about it that's different from any time I've had it. It's like a small warmth in my heart. This is incredible. Really? I didn't do anything special. I did hear somewhere that food made for someone you love makes it taste much better. I don't think they were kidding. We should hurry, though. I like how I made Monica say really there. I kind of made her say really wrong. She was like, really? <laughs> like, they're not that special, you know? <laughs> I meant to say, I probably should have been like, really? I didn't do anything special. School starts in half an hour. We quickly eat our food. After the food, we go upstairs. I'm going to get changed into my uniform. And no peeking. So don't worry, I won't. Monica goes into the bathroom with her uniform in hand. Of course, I am curious though. Seeing the one I love getting- No lewd thoughts either! Uh, yeah! <laughs> she giggles a bit. How did she know that I was- How did she know what I was thinking about though? I guess I'll never know. I get myself changed then go downstairs. I drop off my stuff for school by the door and slip into the kitchen. I grab some coffee from the cabinet and put some some into the coffee filter. I quickly heat up some water and make some coffee for me and Monica. I pour the coffee into two thermoses. 
Just as I'm finishing up filling the last thermos, Monica comes down, Monica comes down in her uniform with her supplies in hand. Ooh, making some coffee? Aren't you sweet? Uh, oh, I actually get choices? <laughs> it is just a coffee, Monica. <laughs> I don't even want to say the top one. That's not how I talk. <laughs> it is just a coffee, Monica. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I knew, it's just, why would I say that? That's weird. <laughs> oh, I know how much I like this. I mean, it's coffee. <laughs> a lot of people like coffee. <laughs> it's not like a special, it's not like a, a special personality quirk of Monica. It's just coffee. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> this is a plotless thing that has a bad ending. <laughs> I was like, well, why did, why, why would the mod make it like, were they, did they think that was like such a unique fact about Monica? It's just coffee. I see you forgot that coffee's my favorite drink. Just bring the coffee and bring it over to Monica. Ready to go? And Monica, our coffee. Hold up. Actually, I need to see something. Let me see here. No, 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 no. I need to see something. I could be totally wrong, but I want to... I want to make sure... Okay, yeah, it's never said. Okay, okay, that was the thing I wanted to point out. They never said that Monica's favorite drink was coffee. <laughs> they just said she likes coffee. <laughs> I guess I was like, I'm like, well, I think I'll sit here and try to try, try to sit here and be like, I can't believe you forgot Monica's favorite. Don't gaslight me, mod. <laughs> it's not her favorite drink. <laughs> So I was like, it's just she said she likes coffee. That's a normal thing. <laughs> a fan head can because I'm never seeing other mods. The thing is, it's it's like I guess they took the because it's not even like a fan head cannon because it's like I'm not saying she dislikes it, but I'm also not saying that that would be her favorite drink. That part was never said. So it's kind of weird that they're like, oh, you should have known that her favorite is coffee. <laughs> like what? Just she likes it. <laughs> Like doesn't equal addicted. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, what the hell? Yeah, that's the other thing. It's like, her liking coffee makes sense that being her favorite. Her favorite is a little weird. <laughs> it means Monica's drinking coffee with like every piece of food. <laughs> that's, a little, that's a little problematic. And Monica or coffee. Yeah? How much do you want to bet the series going to run after us like she did before? Yeah, I wouldn't be too surprised. We'll grab our things and go outside. I lock up the door and we head off to school. As if on cue, I see an annoying girl with a red bow in her hair start running towards us. See, if we're gonna quote the MC too, why not just be the MC? <laughs> it doesn't make sense that he's his own character when, like I said, we're like the same guy. <laughs> like, what's even the point? <laughs> Behind her, a guy with brown hair and yellow eyes is running with her. Hey! I quickly turn around as if I was about to run away, but I wait for Sarah to catch up to us. Ah, ah. You meanie! You two were about to run away again, weren't you? No? What are you talking about? Monica and I giggle a bit. Phew, glad we were able to catch up to each other. Good morning, everyone. Morning. I'm just giving him the same voice. But <laughs> I'm not giving him a different voice. <laughs> we might as well sound the same. We're like the same guy. <laughs> might as well have the same voice, too. They even sound the same. <laughs> like, that sounds like there's no, like, there's physically no point in this. Like, I don't understand. Like, even, like, because even if this game was to go off the whole base game, because he, cause if this game is going off of base game, even Dan himself said that MC wasn't a character. <laughs> and that he doesn't consider himself one. <laughs> doesn't consider him one. So, like I said, it's like, why not just make him the vessel we control? There's physically no difference between controlling him and controlling whatever the fuck we're in right now. <laughs> yeah. 
Good morning. We continue along to school together. I take a quick, quick glance at Monica. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. It's just seeing Sayori like this. It's still a bit sudden. I've already said that, but to see all the things I've done magically revert themselves if I never, as if I never did them is kind of... I don't know. I still doubt that I deserve it. You deserve it? I don't care if someone thinks another way. That's a little rude. <laughs> I guess that's fair. Everyone deserves happiness. Mm. <laughs> uh, not everyone. <laughs> I don't know. I understand what he's saying. <laughs> Thank you so much, Zero. I'm really happy that you think like that and that you do it for me. Anyway, let's just keep going. There's no point in dwelling on the past anymore. After all, I got what I wanted. Monica snuggles up next to me while we're walking. Aw, look at you two lovebirds. Do I, 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 what, 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 I have to pick the right option here? <laughs> Sayori, Sayori, get out of here! <laughs> Sorry, you're, you're, you're ruining my mellow! <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. As we near the school, the streets become speckled with other students making their daily commute. We finally reach the school gate. Monica and I head to our class and say goodbye to Sayori and MC. Couldn't even give him a name, too. That's the worst part. <laughs> he doesn't even have a name! <laughs> I take my seat while Monica occupies the one next to mine. As I'm reminiscing, Monica signals to me, signals to, me to focus on the class instead of staring into space. The class ends on another, on another day. I sit there spacing out again. Hey! I jolt awake as I hear that. Zero! <laughs> Monica giggles a bit. How'd you like my Sayori impression? What? I catch my breath as Monica laughs her heart out. Th th you scared me! <laughs> Ramona thought you were Sayori! <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. Come on, let's go. You remember what we talked about this morning? Yeah, I'm coming. Pack on my things and follow Monica to the club room. As we're walking through the hallway, I get a pit in my stomach. Crap. What is it? And just remember that I forgot to write a poem for today. Oh man, the club president's gonna chew me up! Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, you can finish it during club time tonight. Two of us step into the club room. As we step into the club room, I see Sayori and MC chatting away. Yuri quietly, quietly reading a book, and Natsuki rummaging around in the closet. Monica! Why did you put my manga on the top shelf again? Sorry, I'll help get them down for you. Monica goes to help Natsuki while I go sit down to write my poem. Oh, I have to actually write a poem? It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. This is just for fun. It doesn't matter who wins. Please don't spam it. Well, if it's just for... Then why would it, why would it be here? <laughs> If it doesn't matter what poem I make, then why would you make me make a poem? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to make a poem. I mean, I don't... <laughs> it feels like... I mean... <laughs> it doesn't matter who wins. What is the point? I'm like... Because I'm, I'm like, I'm just going to make a Monica poem because she's my favorite one. But then at that point, it's like, well, yeah, if you're playing this mod, Monica probably is your favorite one. So that... <laughs> What was the point of having the po time to make a Yuri poem? <laughs> For what reason? He's like, no! Oh, they even have- Oh, they even have the little cheats on where you can like hover over and it tells you whose poem it's for. It tells you what, whose word it's for. Let's go. Cheating time. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
prerogative, then sure. But everything else is starting to make me feel weird. <laughs> okay, and I'm making put too much Natsuki. Add some Sayori in there. Here, Sayori, have some love. Have some, uh, have some, have some, have some, that's uh, awesome. You know, put some Yuri in there too. Make her appreciate it a little bit. There you go. Put, put some Yuri words in there. We'll put, uh, Yuri would love, uh, shame. These are all like Sayori words. What is this? Oh, that's a Monica word here. Here you go, Yuri. Have some after image. Alright, and let's finish it off with of like two Monica's just in case. Granted, it said it doesn't matter. Does this matter? Do I get extra scenes for this? <laughs> we'll have to see. Cheating on Monica with a poem for shame. <laughs> yeah, the mod lets you do that. Yeah, I'm having. So far, it's kind of it's kind of weird. Zero's not writing a poem; he's baking a cake with these words. <laughs> I mean, might as well. Nothing else for me to do with them. Just in case, it does not matter, Zero. <laughs> but like, it has to do something, right? Like, does it give you like it, it, like I'm thinking it gives you like an ex like some sort of like line of dialogue? Unless it doesn't, in which case, why couldn't I spam? <laughs> Like, hold up, I have to see. There had to be something, right? Let's see. As I'm finishing up writing up writing my poem, Monica goes to the front of the room. Okay, everyone. It's poem sharing time again. As she says that, the club starts taking out their poems. Siri once again has hers on a torn piece of loose leaf. Natsuki and Yuri reach into their bags and grab their papers. And Monica takes out her composition notebook again and flips through her pages. However, MC starts sweating a bit. MC, you remembered to write a poem for today, right? I'm sorry, I kind of forgot. See, what is the point? <laughs> Why is he here? He just does everything we do. <laughs> Why is he in the mud? <laughs> I just don't understand why he's here. <laughs> he literally serves no purpose. <laughs> Like, why is he in this mod if he's just gonna do all of the same things that we do and have the same personality? The funny thing is, our time didn't even do this. Like, our time literally made it that we controlled MC. There wasn't an MC in our time. We just controlled him. Our time did it better, in my opinion. It made more sense, because it was like, what's the point of having a different body for a character that's virtually the same. <laughs> like, why is he here? <laughs> like, there's no point. Like I said, it feels like it's either A, people's personal vendetta against using MC, against being MC, against using MC as a vessel, just really they don't like him, I guess, or something, or B, they really wanted Sayori to have a boyfriend. <laughs> and Sayori doesn't need a boyfriend. <laughs> If anything, she has depression. Having a relationship during that can be very stressful. She might be better off without one. <laughs> like, so I think her and just having some supportive friends might be what she needs. <laughs> the real reason he's here is so you can be with Monica instead of MC being with Monica. But that doesn't even make sense. That's the problem. It's like, it doesn't even work for that because we're still inhabiting some random vessel so it's like what, what why couldn't we just use mc <laughs> like it just doesn't make sense it's like you just created mc2 <laughs> like they could have just did what our time did he just feels unnecessary no zero having a boyfriend is cure for depression because that's how it works <laughs> like, it's just annoying that he's even here. It's like, why? There's no point. It's alright. Just go ahead and read through everyone, everyone's poems then. I guess I'm not the only one who forgot, for, forgot about poems. Probably because he's just me. <laughs> MC goes over to Sayori and they exchange... Wait, no. Sayori gives her poem to MC and he reads it. <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri exchange their poems. I look around the room for Monica. I look around the room for Monica. For some reason, she disappeared. Boo! My heart skips a beat. 
Jeez, Monica, don't scare me like that. <laughs> Ready to share poems? Yep, here you go. And Monica, my poem, and she gives me hers. All right, so now at least they have the, well, at least they have poems. I guess that's fine. I guess I don't know. <laughs> Actually, did you know, guys? Having a poem is a requirement now. If Mazda and a poems, I'm starting to deduct points. <laughs> <laughs> if you got no poems, I hate your mod, including my own. Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The cur Wait a minute, this is just the one from- Wait, they, they don't have their own poems. This is just the one from fucking- <laughs> This is the one from Act 3! You and it, you can't trick me! <laughs> I was like, wait a minute! <laughs> this isn't an original poem! <laughs> ah! <laughs> you can't fool me! <laughs> I mean, eh. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna get on them for using the Act 3 poem. I guess it makes sense. Uh, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, HOW DARE YOU! <laughs> it's just funny, because I thought it was a new poem, and I was like, WAIT A MINUTE! This isn't new! What do you think about it? Uh... We'll just say this one, yeah. That's what I'd say. Did you write this with me in mind? Of course! How can I be a good girlfriend for you if I don't even dedicate my poems towards you? Speaking of poems, though... It seems you chose the words that I like. See, guys? That's why I did it! I did it for that one line! I did it! I did it! <laughs> Look, guys! There I am! There's my choice! <laughs> Aren't you just the sweetest? But, Zero... You know that it's still a string of words for me. I can still see what you pick, just not just the normal poem on the paper. So, I have a question for you. Have you ever actually written a poem for me? Uh... Okay, so I have to think about this, because technically... So... I've never written a poem for Monica, but I... I but I mean, I mean, I mean if, if I don't... If I don't say it, then she's gonna probably expose me, so I might as well just fucking... I might as well just say it anyway. I have written a poem for Monica. <laughs> But I have not written a poem for the game, Monica. But I've written a poem for Monica before. <laughs> I was thinking for the 220 bits at Sonic. I appreciate it. Aw, and if you're gonna ask if you're gonna read it, you're never gonna read it. <laughs> That's the, I will never show it. Nobody will ever know that it exists. <laughs> Loophole! I say that counts. You're correct. Yep, counts. <laughs> that is true. I wrote a poem for Monica. <laughs> really? Thank you so much, Zero. You really are so romantic. Okay, shut up. <laughs> Stop bringing it up. <laughs> and we never bring it up anymore. Anyway, back to the poems. It was really nice. I can't wait to see more of what you write. Thanks, Monica. Monica hands back my poem, and I hand back hers. With that, I move on to Sayori. I walk over to Sayori, who's just finished up with MC. Hey, Sayori. Hey, you ready to share poems? Yep. Sayori and I exchange poems. Oh, yeah, this is Dear Sunshine, okay. It's a normal poem. Oh, right! They said this takes place before the festival, so them having their... Okay, so they're gonna have all of their poems that they would have. So, right, because it's the Friday before the festival, so Sayori's not gonna leave this time. Okay, so yeah, so she would have the poems. Oh no, wait a minute. Oh no, oh no, wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Oh no! <laughs> wait, if this is the Friday of the festival, then that means... Wait, I have to read a little further. Uh, Sayori? I have a feeling that you wrote this just as you just as you woke up this morning. No, just a little bit. You did, didn't you? Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's 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 it's, <laughs> it's slightly altered vanilla. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> God damn it! No! <laughs> no! And it's slightly altered, so I can't just skip it. Fuck! It's like, it's it's what I hate more than just vanilla. It's slightly altered vanilla. So you can't just skip it because it has to, because you have to read some of the new dialogue. 
Also, they kind of ruined the dialogue. Why did he say you did, didn't you? I like the original line better. I like the original line where he was like, you can't answer a little bit to a yes or no question. <laughs> that line was better. Why did they change it? <laughs> that line was funnier. <laughs> Oh no, unless this is one of those mods where they're like, base game MC was too mean to say Ori. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> ah. I, I really am in the I really am in the minority where I think that MC was not that mean to say Ori at all in the base game, do I? Like it really just looked like friendly teasing to me. <laughs> also, well, I'll bring this up later. Hold up. You did, didn't you? I forgot to do it last night. I thought so. And it's not like I can say anything about it. I wrote mine just a few minutes ago. Really? Yeah. Sorry for lashing out on you like that. What? L lashing out? Huh? Oh yes. We really lashed out on her. We really, we really, we really got on her. Say so we, we really. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's alright. Back on topic. Your poem sounds just like you. I had eggs and toast. MC made them for me. Ah, yes. And Monica made me eggs and a salad. Nice. And about your poem, though. I like it. Thanks. We'll give each other our poems back. Alright, see you later, Sayori. Bye. Next up, Yuri. Karma